Now there are tens of thousands of Android phones in the market with hundreds more releasing each year. So the process of rooting an Android device is getting pretty convoluted for a root professional to remember and confusing for a beginner to get hold on. So in today's episode of the Android Guy, we're going to talk about all the different methods that can be used to root an Android device so that you can have a better idea on what root is and which method to choose from. Now this is going to be a very beginners friendly video. So it might feel a bit basic to some of you guys who are more educated on rooting. And since there is only so much that we can get into one video, I will have detailed guides to everything that I discuss in this video linked in the description box under the thumbs up button. So by the end of this video, you will be definitely on the route to root. <laughs> so let's get started. Taking trips because I never tripped on what they said. If you speaking from your heart, and they say you're going for you. Now today's episode of the Android Guy is brought to you by the My Wi-Fi TV app. If you are tired of paying high cable charges and want to carry your TV wherever you go, then this app is for you. With over 5000 plus live TV channels from around the world, you're basically carrying your TV in your pockets. Plus, with wireless connectivity, you can stream the channels on the big screen and if you're on the move, you can switch over to your smartphone and have the TV come with you. So cut the cord and get the My Wi-Fi TV app, the future of television. Alright, so starting with the first method that is used to root most Android phones out there is the one tap routing method or the direct from phone route. And as the name suggests, it's a direct routing method, so no computer or USB cable is needed. Plus, it's a no data loss method and there is absolutely no risk to your phone. Now there are around 10 different types of one tap routing apps out there, each specializing in routing a specific brand or type of Android device. So click on the first link in the description, that will take you to our official website and from there you can download the one tap routing app that better suits your phone. Now since it's a third party app, make sure that the unknown sources is turned on in the security section of Android settings before installing the app. Now once the app is installed, simply open it up. And no matter which one tap routing app that you're using, the process from here on is exactly the same. You will basically see a root button on the screen, simply tap on that and that's about it. The app will take care of the rest. Now again, it will either root your phone or it will fail. But either ways, your device and your data is pretty safe. And if it fails, no worries. You can always try out the other one tap routing apps in the list or move on to the second method. Now the second method that is used to root Android phones out there is the one click routing method. And as the name suggests, it's quite similar to the first method. But instead of routing directly from your phone, you're using a computer to root your phone. Now this method has a 99% success rate if you happen to own a slightly old phone from a popular manufacturer like LG, Samsung or Sony. Now there are a couple of one click routing softwares out there each specializing in rooting a specific make or brand of Android phone. So hit on the second link in the description and download the one click routing software that better suits your phone. You will basically have to install the one click routing software on your PC, then connect your phone to your PC via the USB cable. Then follow the on-screen instructions which might ask you to turn on the USB debugging option in Android settings. Again, detailed instructions with photos will be on your computer screen. So simply follow the instructions on the software, then hit on next and the app will automatically identify and will try to root your phone. Again, it will either root your phone or it will fail. But either ways, both your phone and your data is pretty safe. Now around 60% of all Android phones out there can be rooted by using the above two methods. So try out the above two methods first as they are pretty safe and are no data loss techniques. Next up, next up, we move over to the third and the most commonly used routing method. That's routing from a custom recovery. Now friends, this is probably the most easiest, safest and is increasingly becoming the most commonly used method to root all modern smartphones. Now technically, you can use this one method to root almost every phone out there. But there is a good and a bad news to that. The bad news is, you will need to flash a custom recovery on your device first. And no, you do not need root to install a custom recovery. 
The custom recovery is kind of like the recovery options that you can access on your computer by pressing the F11 or the delete button. So the custom recovery technically stays outside of Android so that you can safely install root onto Android by using the custom recovery. And in case if anything goes wrong, you always have the restore option right there. Plus, you can install custom ROMs, mods and do all sorts of cool stuff. Now that itself is a good news. But the real good news is, the very first mod that comes out for every Android phone out there is always the custom recovery. We have detailed video guides on rooting your phone with a custom recovery. If your device is on Android version 5 Lollipop or above, then click on this video. If you happen to have a device running on Android version 4, KitKat or below, then watch this video. And if you want to know more about custom recovery and how to get it on your phone, then watch this video. Again, all links are in the description box. And with that, we move over to the fourth method that is used to root Android phones out there. Now this might sound a bit funny, but some devices already comes rooted. You are just one tap away from activating root. Most devices from manufacturers like Mizu, Xiaomi and other Chinese brands either have their device pre-rooted or they have a custom rooted version of Android that you can easily flash on your phone by using their official guides. For example, like the Mizu M3 Note that we have over here can be rooted by heading over to the security settings and turning on the root access option right there. Alternately, most Chinese phones can be rooted by using the one tap or the one click rooting software that we just talked about in the method 1 and the method 2. If nothing works on your device, then your phone is pretty tough, but still it's rootable, only the process is a bit longer. So before attempting to root your device, you will need to unlock the bootloader first. That is usually done by using a third party software on your computer. For example, Every Samsung phone, both old and new, can be unlocked and rooted by using this one software called as Odin. Odin is the exact same software used by engineers at Samsung. And this applies on around 90% of all phones released after 2016, including all Samsung, LG, Moto and phones from other manufacturers. Again, there are detailed guides online that will help you to unlock your device bootloader and flash a custom recovery. Simply Google search and once the custom recovery is installed, simply follow the third method and get your device rooted. So yeah folks, that's about it. If this video helped you in any way, means or form, please give this video a thumbs up and do share this video with people who want to get their phones rooted. And do subscribe to the Android guy if you haven't already to watch more interesting videos like this one. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I am your host HK from the Android guy signing out and I hope you folks 